Although in its contemporary interpretation, the studio continues processes steeped in tradition, there is a lively pursuit of experimentation, a sincere desire to make the tested methods even better. A unique etching process creates infinite variety and texture on clear glass. The effect is produced with hydrofluoric acid. I find etch glass uh, exciting because it's just glass for glass sake. It's not, uh, doesn't have anything added to it. You're using just the glass as a medium itself. And, the, and what you do with the acid enhances the glass. It's, uh, you're taking away, but when, when you take away, you add something to it. The Leptat glass process, patented by Conrad Schmidt Studios, results in deep or fine design etchings on clear glass panels. You can etch the glass and create this veil of crystal uh, right on the surface of the glass, allowing the light emission, creating a beautiful design to stop the eye. You can concentrate on the glass itself and look at the design in the etched glass, or you can focus beyond and, like stained glass windows, Leptat glass is enduring, a permanent glass that transcends the generations. I feel one of the most compelling factors has to do with not making throwaway art, but rather something that's, that's uh, intended to be a, a long-lasting uh, work of art. For the last quarter century, the delicate touch of Helen Hickman's design and color have filled empty paper with the flourishing hopes and dreams of what others perceive for future monuments of stained glass. You start with basic theology. A tree of life is a, is a very um, major symbol uh, to the Jewish people. And uh, there, were, there were many uh, things in the Old Testament that had to do with with, uh, for instance, the burning bush. And then from there, it was a matter of working uh, out a design that would encompass the, the full wall, grow out of the ark, and, uh, and also uh, include the uh, Hebrew names for the 12 tribes of Israel. Such probing research into theology is unnecessary for the simple assembly of pieces of colored glass. At Conrad Schmidt Studios, however, thorough investigation is simply the essential first framework for a window of significant meaning and liturgical accuracy. Uh, St. John the Baptist in, in the Greek Orthodox Church is, is always shown as a rather wild, uh, almost fierce, uh, certainly man of the wilderness. The blessing hand of Christ is always shown the same way, uh, his right hand, and uh, the position of the fingers indicates a, a monogram of his name. The stars were originally used as, as design measurements, uh, uh, points of measurement in the, in the design of, of, the, uh, of the stance of the figure. And uh, down through the centuries, it, they became uh, a tradition. Uh, people even forgot what they were, had been originally been used for. So now uh, she always has those stars. And as I say, there are very few people who really know how they began. One of the reasons that I really like working uh, in a studio situation, and I'm right next to the people who are doing those other uh, phases. And I always feel, for instance, that a design is only the beginning of the whole process. I never feel that my designs are ends in themselves. Uh, they're just the first step in a long series of, of things that other people will be doing. So it's a, it's a team effort. Others, like Hilary Wells, a master of the arts at Conrad Schmidt Studios for the last 45 years. 
I had an apprenticeship many years ago in the, in the 40s. I took an apprenticeship here and I learned from some of the old masters that are right now no longer around. And most of them are dead and passed away. But uh, most of the older timers, they, they knew the trade and I, I got my information from them and they taught me. My Conrad Sr. was from Europe. Uh, the men I worked under him taught me and then went right down the line from one person to another. Well, it's, it's uh, probably the best shop in the country. We turn out the best product, we use the best glass, we have some fine artists, and it's uh, it just got a reputation of doing good work. I think it's the craftsmen we have. These people, we're all dedicated to the job. When we do something, we put everything we can possibly do into it. We want to do the best quality work we can do. And that's what happens, and people see it. You can see the difference when you spend time and care about what you're doing. And everybody here cares. It's, it's never, you couldn't say it's like uh, Latin is a dead language. Stained glass isn't dead because everybody here shares what they know. You learn different techniques and you, uh, you absorb what they can teach you and they're willing to teach you. They give you what they learned and you add on as you learn new techniques. Well, you enjoy what you're doing, I guess that's the main thing. And it's always something different. 31 years this uh, June. You know, it's, it's really fun. It's good. We know that we're uh, making something that's going to be appreciated by many people through the years. And it's a great satisfaction. I think that's just fantastic. And that's one of the things that seems to keep us going in this trade. It's our goal to improve the quality of life for the present, reflect upon the past, and prepare for the future. We're, we're here but a blink of the eye you know, on this earth. And if uh, we can leave our mark someplace, and I don't mean just by our signature, but by uh, executing our jobs well, I think then we're here a lot longer. And um, it's, it's a lot of fun to go back to a project that we did quite a few years ago and look at it and see. And it's a, a beautiful piece of uh, enhanced architecture and it's going to live on for generations. Conrad Schmidt Studios, a century old firm, has carved its unique signature on thousands of projects all across North America. It is a heritage and tradition steeped in dedication, commitment, and quality. Above all, quality. For it is in the quality of its work that Conrad Schmidt Studios will be known for many decades to come as home to America's premier craftsmen.